today is all about diner favorites, and I am making a BLD. That's right, my breakfast, lunch, and dinner sandwich is like a diner on a bun. Nothing says breakfast like a croissant and a fried egg, and nothing says lunch like homemade sour cream and onion chips. And this is the dinner element. Big English cut, bone-in short ribs, right? We're gonna pull it, we're gonna put on a croissant with the fried egg, homemade chips. You gotta see it to believe it. It's gonna be wonderful. Let's hit it up, a little salt and pepper. Flip it over, make sure you get all the ends of this. This is a big cube of bone and meat. That bone is gonna enrich our braising liquid. When in doubt, bone in. Here we go. A little oil in our Dutch oven. We wanna sear these about three, four minutes aside till it's golden brown. Yes. So we have a good platform for all our vegetables to caramelize and sweat. So you can set it on a plate and let it rest while we cook our vegetables. Beautiful. I'm telling you, this sandwich is gonna go in the history books next to Christopher Columbus, the Sears Tower, the BLD. Done, right? You're seeing history in the making here, folks. All right, this is gonna go for about 10, 12 minutes. Next step, very important. This tomato paste is an essential part of any great braise. It sweetens it up, gives a nice depth of flavor. We'll develop the sugars in that tomato paste. So two cups of good red wine. This is gonna be the main component in our braising liquid. So this is where me and Jim differ in our braising styles. He braises with gravy, I braise with fine, medium to lower price red wine. Very accessible red wine. I'm not gonna use the $40 bottle I've been keeping in my basement for 12 years, no. I'm gonna use the seven to $8 bottle. Two cups of that, some herbs, fresh thyme. Throw the sprigs in there. Remember, we're gonna strain this later so we don't have to get fancy. One bay leaf. We're gonna put our beef back in there, nestle it nicely, as it's got a two and a half hour long nap ahead of it. So you wanna tuck it in. I'm gonna read you a story made of red wine, and when you wake up, you're gonna be so relaxed, you're gonna fall off your bone. Not enough red wine in there, we want it to kinda of come up over the meat, right? With braising, we want it almost submerged. Not fully, almost submerged. Get it all in there. All right, let's cover it in the oven 300 for about two, two and a half hours. Let's check out our ribs. It's been about two and a half hours. We flipped it once at an hour. Wow. I mean, I respect moons and all, but they'd be proud of me over there. Check out that braise. Look at that caramelization. Look at that perfectly brown meat. Oh, it's gonna be so soft. It's like a fancy entree at a French restaurant. But no, this is going on my sandwich. Out of this world. Let's grab our two bottom croissants, right? We toasted it, reactivated that butter within the croissant. All right, we're taking that beautiful braising liquid that we strained and we reduced, right? We got the carrots in there, the onions, tons of red wine, fresh herbs. It's so intense. So a little goes a long way, and this is gonna be our saucy element to this. Here we go. Look at that perfectly fried egg, our breakfast element to this sandwich, top with that horseradish mustard and our homemade sour cream and onion chips. Hey bud, I need your help crunching some potato chips. All right. Come here, right? So we're gonna take the top bun and we're gonna cover it like this. Give it just a tiny little. All right, all right. Man, very strong, let me see those muscles. Holy smokes, what do we eat to get good muscles? Protein. Protein. And this baby is packed with tons of protein. All from that braised short rib, and we got that perfectly cooked fried egg, our homemade sour cream and onion chips, all on a toasted croissant with horseradish mustard to kind of cut through all that richness. Ladies and gentlemen, the inaugural first ever BLT.